Okay, part three. Let me erase the rough work here first. All right. Part three says at time t is equal to 60 seconds, the car starts to slow down with a uniform deceleration of 2.5 meters per second squared. Determine how long it will take the car to come to rest. All right. Now you do have a physics um, formula v equal u plus a t when you transpose that the time is equal to v final velocity minus u initial velocity over acceleration so the time here it would take would be says it slows down until it comes to rest that's final velocity zero minus initial velocity of 40 meters per second over acceleration of 2.5 which is 40 over 2.5 40 over 2.5 equals 16 so this showing 16 seconds all right now that's using the formula here now let's take a look at this it starts here and slows down if you're slowing down and let me put my slowing down graph here from 60 seconds to whatever this is and you're going from 40 meters per second to 0 meters per second acceleration well deceleration it's a negative acceleration but anyway 2.5 meters per second squared that means the gradient would be a negative 2.5 suppose I say the gradient here this is 0 60 so the x value here is 60 y value 40 uh, I'm using the geometric um, formula y2 minus y1 is equal to x2 minus x1 the coordinates here will be 60 40 so let me call this x1 y1 and the coordinates here this is point 0.1 point 0.2 would be well I don't know what it is I call it x this is x2 y2 0 No, this call it y2 but here I know x1 is 60 y1 is 40 x2 whatever it is just call it x2 and y2 is 0 so the gradient 2.5 negative 2.5 is equal to y2 minus y1 that's y2 minus 40 over x2 minus x1 so that's y2 minus oh I know y1 is 0 y1 is y2 is 0 y2 minus y1 y2 is 0 y2 minus y1 0 minus 40 over x2 I don't know what x2 is so I just write x2 
minus x1 60 and I'm going to calculate and find out what is x2 so what this is saying now multiply both sides by x2 minus 60 x2 minus 60 times negative 2.5 is equal to 0 minus 40, negative 40. If I divide by negative 2.5, I have x2 minus 60 is equal to negative 40 over negative 2.5. Same as 40 over 2.5. So 40 over 2.5 is 16. So I get 16 and then add 16 add 60 to both sides x2 is equal to 60 plus 16 and that will be 76 so it will drop down at 76 and then how long it will take to do that it would be the distance with the, the time between 60 seconds and 76 seconds which are again 16 seconds so if you remember the physics formula good that's a lot less work and less time if you don't or are not sure what to do you might have to just derive this and work it out what is it's 16 seconds that it takes